Hi, my name is Jeremy. I am a fabricator and mechanic, and I'm on a journey to build an auto union type C. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go over how to transfer the lines from the lofting floor onto templates and then make those into actual full dimension parts for the buck. Let's get into it. will now transfer these lines onto our pattern ply here, just quarter inch thick plywood, is we'll pick one of them that we want to do and we're going to start here and just take a nice little small hammer. I got this one from Brent Bailey. It's really one of my very favorite hammers. And you hammer the heads of the nails into your line. And it doesn't take a lot, so don't go all A-bomb on them. And get out your eight pound smashing hammer. And then just kind of, you know, follow your curve. Once you get into the curves, out here it's straight, so I didn't put a bunch. But once you get into the curves, just put more, you know. Follow your heart. And I've never done this before, so I'm going to put more than I need, probably. But, you know, hey. Better save than sorry. I never say that. I think screws out here. So then take your pattern pie and removing all the deep three. Which one is this? Let's try this one. Put your lines on here like that. Being all kinds of cautious. And then just kind of start, you know, pressing where they all are. Let's see. And then you can't see this, of course. There's holes everywhere around the edge. You just connect the dots and then you just cut this out, smooth it out, and then boom, the template.
we'll just take this over and check it against the template. Extraordinarily, very close. Like within a sixteenth of an inch everywhere. So once again, Leo with the save. So now that we have this, this is the same template for C and D. You'll note that I didn't do the headrest, which both C and D have. The reason is I'm going to be building a test cockpit. So I'm going to build. This is the one right behind the driver. I'm going to put this one in. And then we're also going to do uh, B, which is the one immediately in front of the driver, and probably A as well, which is the furthest one forward, of course, out, right behind where the grill comes to the end of that roundness. So we'll do... These will be going on the buck. However, for right now, I'm doing it to test the cockpit size. So we'll transfer this over to plywood, cut it out and smooth it out as well, and then flip her over so we get the full thing. And then we'll come back and do the same thing for A and B. And it looks like B needs a little work through here, but we'll handle that. But that works out really well. He uses a, a plane on the edge of this, a lock plane, and I think that would probably work better, but you know. I don't I don't have a block. I don't I don't usually work with wood, so I don't have the wood tools in nearly as big a quantity. Boy, that's just slicker than a brass door.
It was a lot of work, a lot more than I was expecting, but we have all of the station frames done and I have a stack of templates should I ever want to do this again. Who knows, maybe this will be a, become my job. But I have all of the stations, so next up we will start transferring those onto the wooden frame for the buck and start mocking up the cockpit to see where everything needs to go with the seating and whatnot. So that's why this one has a hole cut in it. It is the one, basically the firewall, so legs will have to go through it for the cockpit uh, mock-up. So in the next one, we'll do that. And if you want to keep following along, make sure you hit the subscribe, ding the little bell thing, all the hoops YouTube makes you jump through. And uh, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.